What's up ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? I'm Josh Waddy. Welcome back to my channel, friends and fellow artists, to another full length oil painting talk through video. Today, we're going to do a little bit different. I had a, uh, an old canvas here. Um, I had previously painted on, and uh, what I did was I just went over the whole thing with a black acrylic, covered up everything on the canvas. We're not going to use any uh, liquid white today. Instead, I have a mix, a mixture of some satin green, some alizarin crimson, a little bit of burnt sienna, all mixed up here, nice and ready to go. Got the two inch brush out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of this color on my two inch brush. And using my X's, I want to come up and I just want to put a very light thin coat of this color throughout the top portion of the canvas. Now with it being a black acrylic underneath this green and red mixture, it's not going to show completely through like it would if you put it on top of the titanium white, but I'm going to show you guys something fun to do. So just get a nice little covering going here. Now once you've got that done, you go into a clean dry two inch brush, okay? And uh, go into some titanium white on the brush. Straight titanium white. And then we're gonna come in here, we're gonna start in the middle and work our way out right on top of the green and red color that we had going before. Okay. I'm just going to use the little X's, work the color around. Just like that, and really get a crazy little effect going here towards the, the middle. And we'll go ahead and pull through a little bit more taking the white here. And I want to work this color out a little bit more. And we're just using a little X's. I'm not really too worried about the far sides of the painting. I have some trees in there. Um, and fun things like that. So I'm not going to worry too much about this solid dark down here, you know, you might get a little bit more white now through the bottom down here or something, but really we're not too worried about it too much. Clean your brush off, two inch brush, we'll go back in here and I'm going to kind of soften this up. Now once you've ventured away from that middle, you know, try not to go back over it. Once you've picked up some of this darker color uh, out towards the edges, try not to do that. It'll ruin your beautiful little white spot you got going on. Now, I'm just going to wipe my brush off here on paper towel. And I want I don't want this white to be that bright. Uh, so I'm just going to go over it one more time, push the color out. Like I said, don't, don't take any of that black back in right here in the center. Um, I mean, I guess you can if you want to, um, but you'll lose the effect of sunlight coming in. All right, now once you've completed that, we'll go ahead and grab a fan brush here. We're gonna go through that same color we used at first to apply that uh, green and red and burnt sienna color. We're gonna get it on a fan brush here. And we can come out here and just kind of start dropping in some, some shapes of some branches or a little tree or something that might just be hanging out here in the, in the distance. It's just some sap green, a lizard and crimson. Uh, and we're just gonna put the indication of some branches and things hanging out here 
out here in the distance. We're not really too worried about it. If you want, you can add in a little more green here. Um, we're just gonna you know, continue continue dropping in some some little limbs of trees and things hanging in off the side. And we're gonna work that all the way down both sides uh, until you have uh, what you're satisfied with. We're not really too worried uh, about detail on these. Uh, we're more worried about limbs and just your basically your limb shape. Um, these trees won't be super dark. They're still off in the distance pretty good. We'll uh, put some highlight on them. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of black in here. And I'm going to come back up here and maybe throw in a couple more little trees. It's kind of a deep forest kind of effect going on back here. And just continue working your way down with the fan brush and dabbing in some limbs and things. Like I said, we're not um, not too worried about this right now. Let's do one more right here. Corner of the brush, like always. And the limbs bigger as they come down. Don't make all these trees the exact same shape. You know, they're in nature. They're going to be different. They're not always going to be uh, exactly the same. So make some uh, lighter color, some a darker color, and then all this on the side. We're really worried about. We're just going to leave that filled in like that. Next, we're going to come up here. We're going to grab just the smallest bit of uh, Prussian blue. Okay. And then we're going to grab some titanium white. Bring it over. Mix up with a little light blue color. Now, keep in mind, Prussian blue is very, very, very strong. Okay, so if you need to add a little more white, we don't want this to be a super dark watercolor. Um, something about like that. So, it reminds me of a cobalt blue. It's almost like a cobalt blue. And then once you clean your fan brush off, you know, we're going to pull through some of this blue. Okay, get on the fan brush. Um, and I'm going to go with maybe a waterfall just kind of comes down and falls. Now remember I don't have any kind of medium or anything. It's just once we get down here, if this is all just dry canvas, and uh, we'll go back into the uh, to the black here, and I'm thinking maybe there's going to be one more rock here, so I'm just going to block it in. It's going to come down. being jagged, so I'll drop that right in just like that, uh, and maybe this one goes all the way across here, so I'll just block it in, real simple, some black color, maybe it comes down like this, alright, then we'll pull out a nice little roll of paint, it's, a, it's like a grayish brown, uh, mix is a little bit of Van Dyke brown, a little bit of black, uh, a little bit of uh, white, and uh, this side is going to be, it's not going to be as bright as this side, so um, we're just going to start up here, and we're just going to drop in a little bit of some light where some of these rocks uh, might be catching some of the light here. Um, and we'll continue with this color right on down like this 
right here. Okay, like this one's gonna have you know a couple levels to it as well. Nice little cliff, uh, just different color. So we're gonna work the color straight down here. Be loose with this, you know, don't worry too much uh, about anything other than the shape you want your cliff to be in. We'll come back and add maybe some more highlights. And I really like this color. I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to put a little bit over this. Um, one of my favorite things about oil painting is being able to um, layer colors and not have to worry too much about um, them blending together and making one solid color. And at the end, you have a lot of different colors and you can tone things down and brighten things up. And so really a lot of fun. So after we figured out how how our cliff's going to actually look, um, so we got the highlights going where we want them. I'm going to probably drop in some, go ahead and get some more running down through here. Uh, there we go. And zoom out a little bit so you guys can see the bottom of the painting. Okay. Now we're going to go back to our fan brush that had the blue on it. Alright, and we're going to use that same blue color. And we're going to kind of bring another little trickle of waterfall down through these, through these rocks that we created. Just like that. Very simple, from one waterfall to the next. This one, continue down, add a little more blue here, bring it on down, and this one's going to come right out from right in between these, right down through here. And I'm just going to kind of lightly scrub in some blue because the direction my waterfall is going to go and I'm going to go into some black and green again this time more black and we'll start thinking about what's going on down here okay, so I want um, do some more evergreen trees and they're going to come right down here in front like that. Go ahead and reload the brush. And I kind of want them to stop, you know, I, I want them to come over the front of this oh, a little bit. If you pick up some of that color, don't worry too much about it. We're going to come back and highlight these. I just want these running down towards the, towards the water. So we'll get maybe one more big one right here. I'm using a lot of paint on these trees because it has to go over the top of this other paint that's in the background that we put in first. Um, and I don't want to thin it down because as we know the thin paint will stick to a thick paint but if I use a thin paint on this base color I won't be able to apply highlights very well, um, so I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm going to switch over to my one inch brush now and fill in the rest of this with black. Just going to fill in the rest of the foreground. Uh, I'm not really sure what I want to do with the rest of this yet, 
but uh, I have a pretty good idea. Um, but I like to just kind of throw it together as I go. Um, we'll start making maybe some bush shapes and things. Comes right up above the water. Alright, next with the fan brush and a little bit of uh, green and yellow, I'm going to lighten things up here and start putting on some highlights to these trees off here in the distance. Now we're just going to tap down along the tree a little, using the corner of the brush, and we're not going to we're not going to do this super amount. But we do want a little bit of highlight on these trees here in the front so you can see what's going on with those. Uh, and you just kind of tap down a couple spots. I'm not all the way to the bottom. Clean your brush off, you pick up too much of that black. Go ahead back in the next tree and lightly lightly tap in some highlights just here and there remember the way you had your branches in mind when you created these little trees and we'll just continue right on down Here and there in a couple spots. Let's bring this one down a little more. We'll leave that alone. And um, we'll uh, we're gonna come down by these rocks here. And still using the fan brush, just going to tap in a little highlight here along the along the river. Uh, maybe some of these little grassy things kind of just come right on down the rocks. Now remember, leave leave a good amount of the black showing through. You know, we want to keep the the dark. Let me fix this up so you guys can see what's going on down there. Remember, clean your brush off if you pick up too much of the dark. Um, maybe there's a, a little evergreen or something right here. Comes down. Just tapping in the line all the way down. There we go. A little here, some grass. Not too much, just a little. So we have something going on down in here. And, you know, maybe here on... We'll get a little more yellow. And... There's some little grassy things just... Hanging off the edge of these rocks. Going down. Like that. Go ahead and... Push in some grass on this side. Like I said, remember, keep the uh, keep a lot of that dark showing through. Now with the knife, we'll pull through some titanium white. My arm might get in the way on this, but basically we're going to cover one whole side of the tree with a line of titanium white. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to cover up the camera a little bit here. And I'm just going to touch and bounce the knife right along the base of the tree get a little bit of white out there on the end all the way up it gets a little more difficult once you get towards the top just want a good little covering of white on the tree just like that right. pull the paint out again cut across 
a little roll going. And we're going to do the same thing for this one. We're just going to tap, 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 all the way up the tree. All the way to the top. All the way to the top. Just like this. And if you go a little bit outside, that's fine. Because we're going to pull this paint across the tree. And once you have your trees in the front coming in the way that you want them to, we'll go back to that green and the fan brush. And let's just, let's just start putting in some, some grass here. So a little thinner, some green on the brush, and push it down right here in front of these trees. Leave some of the dark, like always, leave some of the dark. And go ahead and pop in some over here, coming down. And we'll go ahead and we'll fill this in with some green and more than likely we'll come back in throw some more highlight in it's not bright enough for me down here I'm just gonna throw in some little blades of grass and things sticking up here right behind these trees and grab you some yellow throw it up there with that green lighten the color up some maybe get a little touch of white and we're gonna come in here and just in a couple spots maybe we'll tap some of that yellow on the tops just to add a little bit more color. Alright guys the painting's pretty much finished now uh, we got our highlights in, we got our river. I'm going to add a little bit more to this. I want to show you really quickly um, how easy it is to fix something that you don't like. I'm not really happy with my birch trees here as they stand right now. So I'm just going to layer black over the top of this, black over the top of this, and I'm going to kind of restructure my tree a little bit to fit um, a little bit better. And I will get back to you guys with some final comments. Well, alright guys, as you can see, I made a totally different change to my tree. Uh, I decided to add a little bit more uh, light to the painting instead of just doing a bare tree. I decided to put some leaves on this thing. I um, hope you guys enjoyed the painting. It was a lot of fun for me to do this. Uh, you know, I love doing the videos for you guys. Um, hopefully, I will be able to get back into doing more and more videos. Uh, get back into the swing of things. <clears throat> and uh, I'll be back with another video full length oil painting video real soon thank you guys so much for the support the likes the shares the comments um, it's it's been amazing um, the amount of people that uh, my videos reach out to and, and uh, I get a lot of people telling me how much my videos help them and uh, that makes me feel really good about uh, doing this whole YouTube thing um, you know if you have any questions leave it in the comments below I will try my best to get back to them. Uh, I read every single comment. And I'll try and get a video out for you. So, <clears throat> any other videos you guys want to see, post in the comments down below. Uh, add me on Facebook if you'd like to. Just search for any Josh Art. And uh, post your art videos there, especially if you do painting longs with me. And uh, I'll see you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Happy drawing. Peace mode out.